Hey, Southern Footloss here. This is The Spy Who Shot Me, a PS1 era, low polygon looking first person shooter. Heavily inspired by GoldenEye and games like that. It's just come out on early access and I'm really enjoying it. It's a retro shooter to the core, with fast gameplay, tons of enemies that die with one shot and no reloading. It's pretty heavy on the comedy too, and it actually hits home a fair amount. So basically it's a kind of James Bond spoof with the charming Agent 7, Smithers who provides the gadgets, and Mother who tills out the missions. The reoccurring joke about your character is that he just shoots everything. So in the base area there are already a bunch of bullet holes and places where paintings are missing, because you've already shot them down. I like how they anticipated that the player would do that, so they just included it into Agent 7's character. It's clever. My paintings have a nasty habit of attracting bullet holes. I don't suppose you'd know anything about that. I wouldn't know, sir. Lots, perhaps. Gameplay-wise, it's fast run and gunning, key finding and light platforming sections. Still hanging around six. This is no time for jokes, Heaven. There's no health pack, so you got to get through each level with one health bar. It's got a nice degree of challenge to it. I died a few times here and there, but I'd always get it on the second try. As with a lot of those old shooters, it's more about how fast and accurately you can complete each level. I think it will probably be a great game to speedrun when it's finished. There's still a ways to go, though. There's only two guns available so far, which is a shame, and only about an hour of content overall. The store page says the game in its current state represents about 40% of what will be available. My major complaints come with the controls, and they can be rather stiff. The shooting itself works just fine, and although it's a tad slippery, I found it enjoyable. There's a lot of aim assist, so it's not frustrating in that respect. The problem is the transitions between shooting, jumping, and sprinting don't flow together enough to make everything as tight as it could be. Like, if you use all three of those movements in quick succession, one of them just won't activate. So if you've just shot someone and then immediately try to sprint and jump, it won't always work, which can be pretty irritating. Another more specific thing that annoyed me about this game is the habit it has of spawning enemies right in front or behind you. Obviously in such a cartoony game, I'm not looking for realism, but a touch of immersion would go a long way, and more importantly, it just feels cheap when people appear behind you, even when you're right up against the wall. You better not ask me about my flight. Did you enjoy your flight, Commander? There are a lot of positives to this title, though. It's got a genuine charm to it. I love the character and world designs, and it actually made me laugh a few times. Side six. This is no time for a joke, Seven. I've located a nuclear device to a nearby container ship. Also, this pool table with the square balls is awesome. It's nice to see something with some love put in on early access like this. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what it's like when the story is completed and the bugs are ironed out. Apparently there's going to be an online multiplayer mode too, so that will be interesting. Thanks for watching anyway guys, do subscribe if you like my review, leave a comment if you've got something to say, and go buy this game if you like the look of it. Peace.